and welcome to the Seeking Heaven channel. I'm your host, Tamara Calder Richardson, and happy almost new year. <laughs> Here we're coming up in 2023, and I wanted to do something super special for you. And before we get into our musical and spiritual guest, I wanted to just run through a couple announcements. First of all, I want to thank you for being here, for being a supporter of the Seeking Heaven channel. And also, if you're interested, I do have, uh, uh, if anyone's interested in getting a spiritual session with me, you can definitely do that at Seeking at the, uh, excuse me, SouthernBellMedium.com. And right now through January 14th, you can get 90, if you buy 90 minutes for a life path reading, a medium life path, you also get 30 minutes. So keep that in mind. And then our sponsor tonight, which is the Academy of Divine Wisdom and sign up for the newsletter with the newsletter, you will get a free Christlike meditation for about 30 minutes. And also check out my event section under the Academy of Divine Wisdom.com. And I'm having coming up January 14th, a phenomenal four month class. You don't have to be there. You can just look at it on demand if you want to. It's once a month uh, on a Saturday. And that will be Craig Campabasso that's going to be talking about the galactic races. It's going to be very in depth and fun. So please, please check all that out and let's get going on our guest today. We have an excellent guest. Let me tell you, the first time I saw our guest that's coming up and I am so excited to present them to you is I was doing a show with Washela Sananda and it was for a portal to Ascension and there was a musical guest and I thought, oh my gosh, this person is fun. They're brilliant. They have great energy. Uh, the lyrics are, are amazing and very talented, but I also know that our guest has a spiritual story. So tonight we're going to have a special concert before we do. I'm going to introduce our guests and they're going to talk about their spiritual journey. And that would be Shamanatrix Missy Galore. So Welcome. <laughs> Greetings, you goodness. Beautiful. So wonderful to be celebrating life with you here. <laughs> you look sort of like you just got transported up. You uh you kind of transparent. So it's like it's kind of it's cool. It's, I'm digging it. So that's <laughs> that looks great. Well, look, you did a, a couple songs for an event they had, and tonight I know you're gonna end up playing three different songs with us, but I wanted first, Oh, you look like you disappeared, Missy. Oh, you need my to be, gosh. oh, you need to be beamed back up. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> there you yeah. are. There and, uh, you are. Oh. I want that trick. That's a cool trick. So you know, uh, it's been a lot of time doing interdimensional travel. And I'm here with songs direct from the womb of creation, channeling the cosmic yum. So thanks for bearing with our a technical dimensional shift as we cross into this time together. You're you're exactly Welcome. right. And we were having a giggle beforehand. We had a couple technical issues and you know, what do you do? You work through that and, and these things sometimes happen, but we laugh because re Mercury retrograde, not that you want to blame everything on Mercury, Mercury retrograde, but honestly, when it's around, you really need to because <laughs> It just, in my experience without fail, it, you know, if there's tech technology or communication or even the most simple things become a little crazy. So we, we've had a blast even before we got started. So tell us a little bit, you know, I met you uh, on another, on another show. Tell us a little bit about how you got involved with, with blending your spirituality and your music and anything about your spiritual journey. Cause your name shamanatrix, which is really cool, but you're also a shaman too. But I mean, I hate to, you know, look, I'm not in the labels, you know, you can, cause we want to not stop ourselves. We want to ex continue to grow and expand and evolve and we don't want to have labels, but for now, for, you know, for now, uh, we have to use labels to a degree. We can change those. <laughs> we can change those definitions, but tell us a little bit what, uh, the shamanatrix part means and, and a little bit about yourself. I want my viewers to know a little bit more about you. Well, thank you. It's really just such a gift to be here together. Thanks for the invitation and the chance to shine in constellation together like this. 
Uh, my name is Shamanatrix Missy Galore. Ooh. And I do. I chant a cosmic yum from the central sun to galactivate our evolution. <laughs> You know, fluffing vibration with smile stimulation is my vocation, and I've always been on the beauty path. I spent many years of my life doing live video mixing and transforming environments with projections and performance art, and then using all of that magic and joy that we cultivate celebrating life together to create artivist events and social justice actions and build community. Because it's really, yeah. I think all of us are in this um, understanding that as we're growing ourselves as humans, this is our part in uh, right. the shift of ages, showing yeah. up in new ways together to grow a culture that we can really believe in and resonate with in beautiful ways. And I really appreciated that with the arts experience because just appreciating life, appreciating each other, the wisdom and the ingenuity and the genius that everybody has to share, that is to me the essence of why we're alive, to share love and light and flow that all around. But something that I noticed was, you know, even with my best intentions, it didn't stop me from having to face complicated situations in life. And even in a group of people that could be really well-meaning, looking to solve challenging issues of our times, you know, our humanity and the cross-cultural intergenerational PTSD that we've all been raised <laughs> Come on now, that's true, right? <laughs> right. It leaves a lot of hurdles along the path. And so this is what really prompted my spiritual journey because while I was raised with that understanding that, you know, many paths, everybody's got their unique fractal perspective to the infinite. Um, there is something so important about us coming together, creating a consensus reality where the heart guides the way, where love really is the foundation of our perception. And not just in that pretty sense of love when everything's going right, but that profound, unconditional love that holds both the dark and the light. So I started music as a creative meditation to calibrate my vibration when things were flowing out of alignment. And through this journey of singing the cosmic love songs, it opened up stargates to ever expansive levels of more joyous self-presence and bliss and deeper, more meaningful connections with my cosmic family like this. So I share the art from my heart to serve the love mission to light that we may all live our truths in juicy, yeah. yummy love light. Yeah, and that's one thing that I love about you, Missy Galore, is that you are really about showing people how to have fun and joy in their heart because that's also part of healing. If we can open up our hearts and laugh and have fun and dance. And I noticed, you know, I just thought we'd have a little chat here uh, before we get going on the, uh, the musical adventure, because you're just going to be too excited after this um, <laughs> to sit in your chair. Uh, but that I think that a lot of healing is done with the laughter and the dancing. And I noticed so many people that uh, don't, dance or just move their body, you know, that they are, are not connected. And it's so important to have this human experience and not be so spiritual that we work our way off into, you know, we, part of the reason we're here is to actually experience here, <laughs> and, uh, you know, rub our dog or cat or go outside in nature or, you know, eat a delicious right. meal, right? I mean, that's part of that's kind of part of what we're supposed to enjoy is these simple things. And, and I think that with, of course, music is, uh, connects people and you could, you know, 
it connects all different languages, but it's even more than that. And, and I think it helps remind us in the core, the basic essentials we all need and how we, you know, I really wish that more people, and I think, you know, I have to believe this is happening, that really choose love and to come from a place of looking at others as, you know, their family and caring about people and, and getting rid of the judgments and really standing in a place of love and, and really reaching for their higher self and their, their reason that they're here. Cause I think that along with you and many others, especially in the, the earth galactic community <laughs> is that, you know, we really want to build a better utopia and a lot of it's just simple principles of shoving, showing a lot of love and light within ourselves, and just being more of service. And, and it, it all comes from your heart. Don't you think? Absolutely. I mean, the heart, the heart is the portal that connects us all. When we yes. start to materialize as flesh, that embryo goes through a beautiful sacred geometry dance. And as the mitosis happens, making this wonderful pattern of the seed to the flower of life, we're growing our spine. And what's the first thing that comes in? The heart. Oh, heart pumping, you can't get to that next level where all the organs grow and even the brain follows after that. So I do believe that the heart is our ultimate wisdom. And even as galactically now age as I am, I also understand that this is part of the fundamental primal plan. The culture's yeah throughout time have come together, shared their beauty, shared their light with their songs, with their dance, with the customs of beauty, whether it's in the outfits or the artwork, the idea of mm. art creating a culture that empowered people to Absolutely. feel good and exchange with each other. This is our return to this beautiful wisdom because we did have it here on earth and we mm -hmm. have it now as we choose it. And for us here on this path of ever opening, expanding heart awakening, we want to grow this possibility for all beings to remember what an important, powerful choice this is that pleasure is not a frivolous thing to be grasped after by a luxury, a luxury few. It's actually a way of life, a way of respecting ourselves. And if you're really spiritual, a way of respecting the very creation that has been made manifest for us to play in. You know, in my worldview, creator manifested this wonderful universe of co-creation and it is filled with beautiful people, beautiful plants, beautiful right. animals. There's no mistakes. There's nothing so evil that it has to be um, really beaten upon. But I think what we need as a fundamental force is that love frequency to rise in us, yeah. to cast our pain and our trauma into the real truth of beauty because that is what allows the difficult situations and the difficult relations to grow in beneficial ways, right? It's, yeah. it's written off as a, a frivolity. If you want the uh, abuser to heal, but in reality, what makes us safer than every person healing every person coming into their love, respect and their love so that we show up with each other with higher integrity and with more kindness okay. and compassion. You're right. I mean, the best thing that can happen is someone that, that we consider maybe a little dark or not so great for them to heal and get better. Because then, it, and if they, everyone else did that, we would, we would feel safer. We would feel better. We'd feel happier. And so we can put that intention out there. I definitely believe our consciousness is creating this holographic universe that, that together with the creator, if you, if you want to call that, that we are a part of that. And, you know, I choose love. I don't choose fear. 
I'm not into that. And why do you have fear? We live forever. So it's not like, eh, you know, <laughs> this is just a blink of an eye. I mean, we, gosh, look how many, we, probably how many planets we lived on, how many different universes. So I want to ask you, this is a little, I don't know if it's necessarily off track. It's funny when I'm with you, Missy, I always get a deep sense of Lumeria. Mm. Every time, every time, because that really wasn't that utopia. Wasn't that the first utopia and beauty and, and really appreciating people and not that they were all people, but, uh, water, nature, animals, and there it was just a different time. And I think that these ancient wisdoms that you speak of, that we're trying to get back to that core and anytime, like uh, even in Atlantis, when there were, uh, you might say greed or selfish intentions took over, which is what taking away from your heart center, then doesn't always end well. <laughs> so I think that this is a great message for people going into 2023 about bringing it back to your own heart and being spiritually mature and responsible to say, what can I do to help myself? What can I do to help? You know, it's great if you want to help others, but you got to help yourself first because you, then when you feel like you're healing, then you're going to, you know, shine a little bit brighter in the world. And mm -hmm. I think that this, this heart message is, is, is so key. So, before we get into the songs, I wanted you, you had such a cool trivia. What was the thing you were telling me that you won the award? Cause you've done uh, performance theater, uh, which I could totally see. You're so entertaining. You just don't perform and it's great music, but you're so fascinating. I can't stop watching you. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Well, I did win a global peace song award for my song love illusion. And I've gotten to win a Federation of World Peace and Love Award for my artivist work through my events in the United Nations and doing, as I said, a lot of social justice from the street level to just trying to bridge hearts across cultures with oh. love and light. And, you know, I, you would ask me about the name Shamanatrix and yes. Missy Galore has been, you know, yeah. my name. Throughout my career, I actually, I am a bio femme, but I did win drag queen at uh, Club USA in my youth. <laughs> that is a big compliment. I mean, yes, exactly. Right? I earned this galore, I like to say. <laughs> and, I, and I dedicated my life towards pleasure, revolution, beauty, joy, and justice for all doing these visuals, doing the social justice. But when I started feeling the burnout within myself and the challenges that um, we had building coalitions and really keeping the energy going in a cooperative way, this music meditation would bring me back to my uh, source connection. And through these cosmic love songs, I would ride the beats into the cosmic heartbeat and unite with that beautiful spirit of life. And so through that, this other dharmic wisdom started to channel through these insights. And the idea of shamanatrix is a gender alchemy play because the word shaman, it's, um, we all know it as the wonderful servant who dedicates themselves to bridging the world and keeping life in harmony, um, part of this beautiful indigenous wis wisdom through the ages. And uh, at the same time, just saying shaman, 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 it felt not quite appropriate to me because I am a biofem. I you work all up big time. cuteness. <laughs> you had a cuteness. <laughs> really important to add this to the message. We've gotten so used to this patriarchal vision of spirituality that is very staid and very reserved. But let's remember that this mm. wasn't our original way. Not only did we get colonial conquest that kind of imprinted this 
Gregorian calendar that we're celebrating tonight into the new year, it also changed how people could get together and literally yeah. limited the ways that we could sing, the ways that we could dance, the ways that we could share our stories, yeah. the ways that we can assemble. So this mixing of the primal and the future in the now is about calibrating and balancing so that we are empowered in these human forms, that we are sight that we incarnated, not original sin, original beauty, with a direct connect through the portal of the heart that will always encourage you to live your life as art. This is the mission that I well, serve. Uh, you are a, a work of art, not only your music, and of course, music, any form of art, uh, is I have always believed because, you know, I went to art, not that you have to go to art school, but I was always an artist. So <laughs> I really couldn't go anywhere else. I'm like, I'll go there. Um, and I've always, uh, you know, married a musician. I've always, art has always been such a part of my life and it is channeled. I think that we chant, but we can all channel beauty through us. Some people do it through words. Some people do it through words of encouragement there's many different ways, but if we allow the divine to work through us, we can be the best version of ourselves and to really appreciate that beauty within. And I think that is a good point that you mentioned that, that it's um, that uh, a lot of um, divine spiritual leaders were, were more of the Atlantis and Lemurian time period these days, not so much. And, and then when you see the women that I have taking spiritual leadership and there's some incredible ones, but that, um, they don't always own their, uh, what did you call it? Your sassiness. They don't always, you know, I, 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 yeah, I think that I've always been extremely girly. I mean, if I was, I mean, if I was born again, I'd be probably the same way. I'm just a very girly person. And, but at the same time, I'm very direct and strong. And I think that, that, we need to allow strength and femininity uh, because that's the way cultures, that's a way, way back we used to be run. And I think that, that that's okay. That, oh, that, that feminine side should not, um, if in fact people, you know, watching, you can be all of these things that, you know, that we're at a great time, male or female or, or whatever you want to, you know, it's, you can just be you, you know, it's, we're really at a great time. There's no constraints you know, it's important to just enjoy who you are and express yourself the best way you can. And you're such a beautiful example of living your passion and just being you because it was so cute. I was talking to you over, over the phone and you go, you know, this is just really me all the time. I said, yeah, I, I figured that out. <laughs> so, well, look, before we get into the music and so forth, everybody, I just want to say this and I'll mention it again, the links and everything to get a hold of Missy is missygalore.com or below. You can find out she's on Facebook. She's all over the place. She's got all sorts of events coming up and spiritual events, not just musical events. So please check that out. And uh, did you, but did you want to tell us a little bit about these specific songs that you picked out for us? Um, yes, I would love to. I would love to. Um I'm going to be singing three songs for you tonight. The first is called Fluff the Goodness. Okay. The second is called The Cosmic Yam. And the third is The Gayatri Galore. But they are all unified by being a rainbow bridge transmission to harmonize hearts across scales and dimensions, assisting us with the cosmic ascension to be a power tool and a reminder too that life is beautiful and creation loves you. And as we're doing wow. this inner work and coming into our own harmonious balance, this essence of aura fluffing, we're doing it all the time helping to move our energy so that our hearts can shine, transmute complications to see new ways to proceed in life that we catalyze our wisdom to grow our heart light. And 
We fluff it up so the cosmic yum can flow and the bliss can grow. And so we find this path of inner love light and rainbow body galactivation to be the very gift that we serve back through the grids of creation, harmonizing harmonizing what an important idea here it's what allows each color of the rainbow to reveal itself so clear and still provide the space and grace for all the other colors to glow it's a rainbow body galactivation that we are cultivating with this show and as we share this joy and this sweetness here and quantumly entangle it into our hearts. We also beam it out across the grids so all of earth can take part. Shifting into the golden age and this Aquarian space and time, galactivating our rainbow body remembering that life is pure and divine. And this yeah. is cosmic transmission that we anchor here on earth. And it's important to see how it all interrelates that coming back to our wellness is what empowers our state of grace. And through this grace, we know that with our physiology, we are healthier, we make better decisions, and we share more joy and love light. Yeah. And this trio of songs is here to galactivate that light as within, so without. Oh, cool. Our journey of love evolution. And here we. Dedicate this psychedelic devotional disco set to being the living solution. This first song is called Fluff the Goodness. And here are the words to share because fluffing is a pure heart vibration that flows everywhere. Fluffing the goodness takes constant attention. Goodness itself has no form or dimension. It's always moving around in time. The more we fluff it, the better the vibe. And when things are going wrong, we remember this song to be strong. When things are going right, we remember to share our light and fluff the goodness. It's a crystal download right here to fluff our auras Crystal clear. Beautiful. You ready to fluff it? I am. I am. I have my fluffer here. I'm ready. It is a crystal fluff wand of the quantum style. And we collaborate with all of the wisdom sages through the ages that have created spirit tools to empower our remembrance and expand our energy to flow. So grateful to share with you in this glow.
right here. Nothing or else. Crystal clear. To arrange our calibration for optimum situations, may all beings thrive. Fluff the goodness. Woo! Woo! That was so much fun. Oh, I love that. Yay! <laughs> I love aura fluffing with you, and I know we find it so very true that to age with grace and a smiling face, we must remember to calibrate, take control of our inner ecology that we may thrive. <laughs> no, that's true. That is That was so fun. And so beautiful. It's such a self-healing song. And it's fun. I just love it. So I'm excited. So tell us about the next one. Okay. I just will mention with this that this, because I'm playing with this fluff wand and I forgot to talk about it earlier. Oh, these yes. Talk about your fluff wand. They are spirit empowerment tools made with selenite handles and Lemurian quartz. They're just talismans to help move energy with laughter and love. You can hold them in your hands here. I'm just going to have it uh, really focus on animating the space here throughout the rest of this program. These crystal fluff wands work by uh, amplifying intention, focusing concentration, expanding our biogeometry and aligning with the forces of creation. And that is part of our mission in life to remember to empower us to feel happy and joyous, even in that challenge and that yick, because we are innately beautiful and we all deserve it. So this next song, it's called The Cosmic Yum. And this cosmic yum for me is the primal flow of creation that animates our human incarnations. And we fluff it up light so the chi, the bliss, the prana can flow, the cosmic yum in any name. This is what we know, that we are all one in the cosmic yum. In the cosmic yum, we are one. With love and respect, yum manifests. That's how we're blessed, sharing, caring. May all beings be happy and free living in love joyfully. 
May all beings be happy and free, living love evolution in the cosmic yum. We're all one here to have fun because we're here in good cheer to fluff our auras crystal clear. Love it up with hard light for the benefit of all life. From the galactic equator to the cosmic core, we bring this love evolution forevermore, harmonizing our goodness with love light because we are the cosmic yum of life. And this Cosmic Yum, it is the name of this song. It's also the name of my video podcast launching with this beautiful new year, 2023. The Cosmic Yum, Happiness Support Society, anchoring the beauty of our galactic creation with all the energy of our earth grid formation. And as you see me here, kind of dashing my attention all around, I'd like to let you know that this is not some dialed in pre-recorded show. I'm doing these visuals live. I'm doing this music live. This song is a brand new psychedelic devotional disco version, never before performed, just for us. Seeking heaven through the hearts and the beat that moves our hips and our feet. Keep us smiling and flowing in the yum of our love illusion. Yeah, we are one. Ah. 
You're so much fun. And, and I love the lyrics because the lyrics, you know, they have meaning. You can meditate on it. But while you're, while you're playing the music, it's just fun to kind of go with it. Just kind of go on that disco ride and just, you know, follow that little train and just that, you know, that pop and hop and train. <laughs> dear. It's the psychedelic devotional disco flow. That is the heart spark of tonight's show. But these songs all do originate as wildflower mantras that I get as direct communication with the Kuna Kubum of creation. And so on the Cosmic Yum Happiness Support Society, in addition to dancing our hearts into the infinite we also share in galactic roots acoustic mantras in sound journey meditations yeah. breath work pranayam galactivations and boost each other up in our shared joy and love light and spirit willing creating um nurturing morsels that you can take with you in life one of my yes, one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, well, it's, just, it's just I actually with this fluffing, it's to synchronize our smiles, it's and true. as we meet together, we smile and feel that smile within the very essence of our being, but also smiling across space and time reminding us that we are connected with every smile that ever came before, every smile forevermore. We can smile to ourselves and the past and retro fluff us up 
to go back and help heal us in those times of need. And we can also future fluff those good vibes even to ourselves so that we can help seed that supportive foundation that carries us on the journey of life. And through helping us, we do help all beings ascend in this love and light. So appreciating each smile that we get to share together and amplifying this loving kindness frequency forever. Yes, it's true. It's so, people forget as simple as a smile. It just makes your heart small. So, oh, I just love that. It's just, it's just, it's been, everything has been so great. But before we go, you still have another song. Uh, this is just a real New Year's cosmic concert treat to be able to have the Shamanatrix Missy Glore. But you've got one more. So whatever, you know, if you want to talk about it or what have you, this is like your debut though, isn't it? Is it kind of... Oh like my gosh, this is my latest release, the Gayatri Galore. And I uh, did a sadhana practicing with the Gayatri Mantra. It's actually one of the oldest recorded songs that we have okay. uh, going back through antiquity. This is more ancient wisdom. Of course, all cultures throughout the ages have used music to connect to the infinite. But in this particular practice, um, I started combining it with sun gazing. And oh, okay. a couple of the translations I really love of this mantra. Um, okay. And why I was sun gazing with it. You who are the power of all power, whose rays illuminate the world, illuminate my heart so I can do your work. Mm. Let us commune with that luminous love light of consciousness that sustains all worlds, that it may inspire liberation. And while I was sun gazing, I heard those photons sing with me. The light of the sun is the light within me. It's the light of the stars. It's infinity. Photons are glowing in our DNA. Life is built of light, and we love this way. Woo! Light of the sun, the light within me. Light of the stars, infinity. Photons are glowing in our DNA. Life is good to life, and we love this way. Light of the sun, light within me. Light of the stars, infinity. Photons are glowing in our DNA. Life is good to life, and we love this way. Thank you. 
grateful to share these moments of joy and happiness like this and may this help empower and assist your 2023 to glow in perfect alignment with your heart that you feel strengthened to live your life as art both creating complex works of music and art like this, but also just greeting every moment with this presence of heart bliss, seeing the beauty of the interconnectedness of all life. It is a sacred dance of creation that we experience for just such a short time in each one of these human forms. So just remembering the truth of where we're from, the cosmic yum of love evolution, the beautiful wisdom that you innately are glowing your beautiful fractal heart star in constellation with the countless infinite flows of life forms on this earth and in all the worlds of worlds collaborating together to allow us to experience the true presence and power of loving kindness in life. This is our time to shine. And whether you think of it like a calendar shift, because that's kind of what's up here. Remember, we're also reincarnating in every breath. So let this joyousness quantumly embed in every, in every cell 
Let this quantum goodness embed in every cell, ever reminding us that all is well. We've got more than enough to meet our needs. We've got enough to share. We are growing love illusion now and everywhere. I fluff and love you. Oh, yes, I agree. I'm going to yeah. fluff and thank you. Oh, my gosh, Missy, you're great. I'm going to grab more fluffy stuff. You're uh, amazing. And you're right. I love it. I love illusion. That's what it is. It's a love yeah. illusion. <laughs> So is, you know, it's, it's, um, in, we do live at such a great age to come back to the beautiful opening that you shared with us here. We live in this wonderful time where we get to follow our hearts and forge our path and in really special ways. And as we cultivate the new directions, we're also empowered by the ancient wisdom that yeah handed down generation to generation, which is that love is the very fabric of life. And whether you fight it and, you know, just kind of kick and resist and it's <laughs> still unconditional love holding you yeah. all the time in your perfection, yeah. ready to buff you up, fluff you up and help <laughs> you shine again and again, because this is the true path of our ascension to be happy and joyous and yeah. kind together that's it i mean that's it's that simple people overcomplicate it but it's really it starts with us we need to love ourselves and to celebrate us and then once we really appreciate this beautiful breath and life that's been given to us and that we're part of this world and all worlds and we're a part of all not just history now but history in the past we're part of everything and to move forward and decide that we want a better world we want utopia we want to be that expression of love and if we just decide that it's going to be a massive blaze of love evolution <laughs> <laughs> this is what helps us choose to support healthy ecosystems and see how um, are the causes, effects of our reactions. But, but if I may say as well, I, I know with me and so many of the challenges that I faced in my life, um, some of the hardest found, some of the hardest, I can't, it's, it, it bumbles me up just to even think about it, literally. Some of the hardest moments have been to forgive myself for the difficult situations I've been in, maybe the mistakes that I've made or, or really complicated, ugly things that I've encountered in my actions with other people. And to remember that even though, you know, we stumble and fall, that's just one moment in time. And the journey is the destination. And remembering that is really divine in the most practical way to say, okay, dust it off, fluff it off. So what? Things got a little yick. We remember our innate and we can fluff right through mm -hmm. them. And if something shows up at you, yeah. ugly, you don't just ah, lash out it and hate. You can just hold back your heart space. Yes. And presence that, you know, it's all love or a calling for love as um, Fantuzzi so beautifully wrote for his heart song. It's so important to remember that, that we are all beautiful and loving and deserve love. And I'm really grateful to have this moment to share with you and honoring all that you do to support us and this community and all people on earth to remember that heaven is right here, right now. It is, yeah. Seeking heaven. We, we can find it right here, right now. We don't need to go anywhere. We can create it right now. We are that. So you are amazing. Everybody, if you want to know more about Missy Galore, you need to. <laughs> go, yeah. to her, go to her website, missygalore.com. Check well as out. Oops, go ahead. I just appreciate that. Yes, exactly. For more Missy Galore experience of the Cosmic Yum, you could go to my Missy Galore website. 
I'm Missy Galore on YouTube. I'm Shamanatrix Missy Galore and social media land. And <laughs> you are all over the place. You really are. And I love your little your 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 um technology. I'm so glad everything got working. And I love the little. You look like a little bohemian glitzy Barbie disco Barbie right there. You pop in different places. I mean, that's even delightful. So you have been such a joy, and it is really an honor to have you here and keep keep being you because that allows other people to be themselves and look people try to hide who their true self is it don't work people already know who you are and they love you because of it not despite it so just be you and sparkle and shine especially in 2023 don't listen to this negative naysayer stuff forget about it don't watch the news <laughs> don't it'll just confuse you i mean you know we you, you, the headlines are good enough, but really to just listen to your heart and be the best you that you can. And thank you for inspiring others, Missy, and for your music, which just opened my heart. Go have fun tonight, everybody. Have fun and be safe and happy new years. Happy new year. Bye. Bye. Love everybody. Bye. like and make comments and support this channel by becoming a member. Thank you for your continued support.